Good morning and welcome to Harbin. Michelle is deciding what to wear and she's worried. Is it going to be too hot? Yeah, because I'm thinking I'm going to wear two pairs of t-shirts. Oh, two t-shirts. And one fleece. And one jumper. The jumper has fleece as well. And a coat. And three pairs of socks. I think three pairs of socks are really hot. So I will see you later. Is it too hot? I think don't have to. If I wear that much today, maybe I don't have to like close my coat. I can just undo the bottom. We'll see you later. Stay two and hard then. And our last day. Uh, we got up a bit later, like so it's 12 and we just left the hotel because as you can see <laughs> It's extremely cold and our train is at four. So we don't want to be like walking around with nowhere to go all day in the freezing cold. So now we're going to go to our food street. What's it called, Michelle? Uh, Central Street, Zhongyang Daji. Yeah, so we're going to go to the Central Street, like the Russian food street again, try and get some food and then go see St. Sophia Church. Yay! The first thing we do is rush to these street food vendors that we saw yesterday and try and scope out what is good. This one is really nice. Don't be afraid to sleep. Hmm. What's it like then, Michelle? It's like eating meat. But also, it's like dry squid. Because it has some hair and a fur. Feather. Oh. It's so good. Like, some people say they're so worried about eating that. We call it bao gan because it has some fur. Feathers. Hmm? Feathers. Yeah, feathers. But actually, it's so great. <laughs> this is the best egg I have ever had. <laughs> What's this? I'm not sure. But it's not like it has white and yellow bit. I don't know egg? what egg. Is it egg? Yeah. Mmm, so good. Mm. Now it's time for something sweet. Bing Tang Hulu is something that we've been seeing a lot of while we've been in Harbin, and now is finally the time we get to try it. Bingtang Hulu is a traditional Chinese snack. It is traditionally made from hawthorn, coated with a hard layer of candied sugar. But here they have so many different types. And the thing that caught our eye today is this Bingtang Hulu La Tiam. It's so crunchy. And the La Tiam is so like, Chewy, I don't know how I'm gonna bite it off. Just the whole one, maybe. It's so big. <laughs> oh my god. Is it cold? It... Wow. First of all, it tastes so good. Really? <laughs> It's so frozen and the latte is so 
so chewy and the date is frozen inside. So, I'm just trying to like, don't know how to eat it, but it tastes really good. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. It's so sticky. Yeah, I'm really sticky. Can you see the steam coming off? What? Now we're trying this Kaolong Mian or grilled cold noodles. A thin sheet of uncut noodles is fried with an egg and then so many toppings are added like onions and spices. It's really good. It's the Kaolong Mian. Kaolong noodles, right? Yeah. It's a speciality from Heilongjiang province where we are now. Mm. Is it good better than the one in Shenzhen, mm. right? No, like, chewy. Sweet and sour. Mm. Spicy. It's like egg noodle. It's so cold, literally. We can't like take it out, otherwise it would be instantly cold. We had to come into the metro for some warmth, but it's not allowed to eat food, so. Look at the ice on Michelle's hair after just a few minutes of being outside. Well, it took us about an hour to eat all of that street food. It's literally crazy because normally that kind of food it just take us and maybe 20 minutes with yeah. the Bing Tang Hulu. But because because of the gloves and like you it's have to so go inside, cold. Have to go inside outside to like try and warm up your little toes, like everything takes so long. It's just difficult to like stay in this kind of city. Everything is quite difficult. Normally 600 meters probably just take us like seven minutes or like yeah. But you normally you have to take us like about 15 minutes to walk. Yeah. Because just like ice. Penguin. Yeah like a penguin and there's ice everywhere. Our next destination is Zhongyang Street. We visited last night in the dark, but it is a whole different experience in the daytime. It's so cold, they just casually have an ice sculpture out here. This is the harrowing sausage. I'm gonna try it. This is a European style sausage with a Russian flavor. What's the sausage? Oh no! <laughs> What's the sausage like? It's very crunchy outside. Inside it's like soft and smoky. Oh. As we are walking along Zhongyang Street, we are really only able to spend five minutes outside at a time because of how cold it is. But luckily, there are so many shops that we can visit to warm up again. Even my snotty tissue froze in my pocket. It's so gross. <laughs> so, are uh, three pairs of socks too hot? No. But yesterday, when I wear two pairs, it's not like this. Which means maybe it's because I wear too much socks. Now it's time to make our way over to Harbin's most famous landmark, St. Sophia Cathedral. It is the largest Eastern Orthodox Church in the Far East. With more than 112 years of history, it was built in 1907 after the completion of the Trans-Siberian Railway. After a few minutes of admiring its impressive exterior, we were forced to run into the shop because our fingers were about to drop off. Just look at Michelle's glasses. Literally, cannot stand it anymore. Um, my eyelashes have some eyes. Michelle has eyes all on her face. So. We're gonna run back to the hotel for our stuff and go to the train. We tried to take some cute photos, but 
we literally can't like how can you take a cute photo like this? <laughs> this is the best we could get. So this concludes our day in Harbin and now it's time to head on to our next destination. And can you believe it? We're going even further north than Harbin. We are about to take a 17 hour journey on the real life Polar Express. To find out where we're going and what we get up to on the train, make sure to come back next week and check out our videos. As always, thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye!